hello, welcome back to All Request August where we're tackling back to school DIYs and I'm inviting you to join me for Meg's office makeover. I need a ton of craft supply storage. I called in reinforcements and I gave a ring to my friend Dan Ferris whom you might recognize from HGTV's Design Star. He's gonna show us how he created this modern minimalist craft storage system and give us all kinds of pro tips. So stay tuned so you don't miss a thing. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Welcome to HGTV Handmade with me and Dan Ferris. This dude right here is HGTV's favorite carpenter. He's joining us here on Handmade to help us organize our craft supplies. So, There's no reason why organizing crafts can't be cool. The thing that I love about this project, number one, you said pegboard, this is a pegboard. This, it's, pegboard. the concept has existed forever, but I think you'll like the way we approach it. I'm so excited. Dude, let's do it. Let's dive in. So what's your basic design concept? When you approached me about the organization, I mean, the first thing that springs to mind is pegboard. You said geometric shapes and all this stuff, so I was like, how can I make this unique? This is a simple cleat system. I've been doing it for years. It's a great way to hang artwork or even heavy items. It's super durable. This is just a one by four that's ripped on a table saw at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And then the pieces that hang on it hold that same angle at 45. And when you slide it in there, you can. I mean, it's super solid. Awesome. Yeah, so it locks it in and it makes it modular. So obviously you can lay this out and move things. I can change my mind because I do it all the time. Is this not genius, you guys? Like it's this cool. is so smart. The thing that I want to convey to most of the viewers out there is that all of the angles on this are the same angle. This is a 25 degree angle here, 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 here. So you've got literally just four pieces of wood, which is a box, all cut at the same angle. So simple. So how did you attach the cleat to the back of the wood? Glue it, nail it, wood fill it, sand it, it's good to go. I love it. So here are some of the other pieces. You know I love the triangle. Pro tip, if you have two cleats on a piece like this piece, you want to make sure the cleats on the wall are spaced out evenly. That gives you the versatility to move it around. Dan asked me in part of the planning process, he said, it will help me to know what specifically you want to organize. So I actually took this photo and sent it to him. So that's where he came up with these great ideas using dowels, put the twine on, the washi tape, all that good stuff. There's this cool cubby that I can put all the supplies that go with like the next project in. Paintbrushes? Yeah. The main thing is getting it secured to the wall and then we, this is totally versatile at that awesome. point, so. Here we are at the wall oh. where it's gonna go up. Make sure you catch a stud with this. You have so many things hanging on here. I think we got a stud. <laughs> Anytime you're hanging shelves or even a piece of artwork that's really heavy, you definitely wanna locate a stud so that you can hang it securely. And when I move, and I want to take this off, what's the best way for me to cover any holes that I put? Because a lot of us are renters, mm -hmm. so what would you suggest that I put in? A little yeah. spackle? Yeah, you'll just take it out and then touch it with a little bit of spackle. Yeah, totally renter friendly, best, yeah. and really you could even do this in your dorm room if you use Dan's tip about using that spackle. That's right. A little pro tip. What I'll do is throw one screw here and then hold a level on it just to make sure that it's perfectly level and then put the second screw in. So what I'm going to do is throw my screw behind the cleat so you'll never see it. The panel's up. Yeah. So the Add up. our modular, modular storage shape. shapes. playing with the colors that we're already using, some of the sure. pastels of my clipboards um, from our organization video, and doing some sort of Memphis design-inspired pattern maybe on the back or something with maybe then just little hints here. I knew that whatever Dan did would be awesome, but I did not realize that I would have like curse words flying out of my mouth because it is that freaking cool. It just looks really, really rad. I I'm mean, proud of it, so I'm glad you love it. Oh, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank I you. love it. You are so talented. Thank Check out Dan Made. His videos are awesome. He has such great carpentry work, such cool home decor DIYs for you. You can use stuff like this in a kid's room for toy storage. You could use it in your closet. I mean, there's so many different ways that we can use your awesome ideas. So check him out in all ways. Dan Made, Dan Ferris. 
Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we will see you later. You rock. Bye. You rock. Bro hug, I like it. Be sure to tune in for the rest of the week where you'll get one last awesome video, a full Meg's office makeover tour room reveal. I also share with you my five favorite craft supply storage tips and a lot of bloopers. See you then. Bye.